Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, uh, learn and also interact. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we will be on Form 4, Lesson 17, and the topic is Livestock Production 6, and the subtopic is Raising of a Young Stock. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, state the meaning of the term replacement stock, and number two, explain the various uh, routine uh, management practices uh, carried when raising a uh, replacement uh, stock. Uh, what is uh, a heifer? A heifer is a cow which has never born a calf or has born only one calf. That is what we refer to as a heifer. And a heifer is one uh, which is normally raised so that it can act as a replacement uh, stock in future. Uh, a replacement stock are those young animals which are selected in order to replace the, uh, the, 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 the parents in future. Uh, you can see an example of a heifer there. There is a, a young a female uh, calf there. That is what we refer to as a heifer. And also you can see there is a, a bigger heifer there uh, which has only one opportunity once. And also there is another heifer, uh, that is a young female cow, is what we refer to as a heifer. Then uh, uh, we'll go to young male cattle. Uh, there, is, uh, uh, th there is a picture there uh, of a young uh, male uh, cattle. Then we have uh, another one there. And this heifer and the young male cattle are the ones which are raised as the as as the replacement stock in order to replace the the uh, old parents in future uh, routine management practices on a replacement stock are uh, the first one uh, you are supposed to control the parasite that is parasite control and we have two types of parasite we have external parasite or ectoparasite and the internal parasite and both both of them should be controlled effectively so that uh, the, the the young as uh, stock uh, will grow in a good manner. Then we have disease control. You're supposed to control the diseases uh, uh, as far as uh, the displacement stock is concerned. Then we have castration. Uh, this is the deprivation of the male reproductive uh, power and it is done using various methods. You can use a badizo uh, whereby you crush the sperm duct using badizo and also you can use you can use a rubbering and a rastrator method. Uh, then uh, also there is the fourth uh, routine management practice that is identification. And there are several methods of identification as we uh, discussed them in the previous uh, uh, lessons. Then we have the removal of extra teeth. As you know in a uh, young heifer, if there is an extra teeth, you are supposed to, uh, to, to uh, creep it out. Uh, with the teat creeper so that you can eliminate the chances of such uh, organism uh, experiences a uh, mastitis attack in the future because the extra teat uh, acts as a predisposing uh, factor for mastitis uh, mastitis disease. Then we have the honing that is another one called antidis budding. The honing we uh, ex I explained in the previous lesson the honing it is the act of cutting uh, of a grown horn and this budding it is the act of removing the horn bud. Then we have routine management uh, uh, practices. Uh, you can see uh, parasite control in uh, in diagrams. You can see parasite control there. You can use the plunge dip and also this is control. You can use vaccination, castration. You can see there is a labouring and a illustrator there. There is tattooing. Uh, you can see well illustrated there. The horning you can see that there is a cow which is having a very big horn. Then after the honing, uh, the, the next uh, diagram shows uh, the, 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 the feature of a cow uh, after the honing exercise is uh, done. Uh, then we have this budding. You can see the young one there. Uh, the band is being removed uh, from uh, its position and therefore the band will not grow into horn. Uh, we have come to the ends of today's uh, lesson and I'm going to give you assignment and the first question you're supposed to attempt, uh, you are supposed to define the following terms. The first one is a heifer and the B replacement.
replacement stock and number two explain any five routine management practices done when raising a replacement stock uh, for reference you can refer from secondary agriculture student book four and the publisher is the kenya literature burial for more information you can reach us at rim tv using the following uh, addresses you can use sms using that number youtube at elim tv uh, facebook platform at elim tv and also uh, you can use twitter Twitter uh, uh, at, L, uh, at LMTV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this uh, lesson. Uh, till next lesson, bye bye.